friends to another episode of Ask a Monkeyologist with me, Dr. Kav von Diefendorf. I answer all your questions. First question comes from Rusty Tiberius. Dear Kav, ah, Rusty, always that special snowflake. When I said who is your favorite, what I actually meant was how many leagues does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a bubblegum pop? I like you, Rusty. Did someone say food? No, it's about sweets. Crawl back into your hole, Gollum. Oh yeah, you and your lost sense of taste can give the best advice about sweets, Calf. I have very good taste. I mean, look at my jacket. That is a tuxedo. Exactly. Dear Rusty, in order to find the mathematical answer to your mathematical question, you need to build a leakometer. Now, a leakometer is a device that leaks meters. With this special device, you can find out many other useful things as well, such as how many licks does it take to finish an ice cream, or how many licks does it take to eat an entire question? Very good question, Rusty. Nadav Kipnis asks, Dear Dr. Gustav, what is the purpose of monkeyologists eating questions in your dimension? Edit, I just ate the question and I could use your advice. Or did you like it? You have to admit, questions are very tasty. In my universe, they're literally food for thought. So take this as an answer to your question. You know what they say, a question a day keeps the diet away. But you just indirectly call me fat. You the dwarven people ask, dear cow, can you reenact the jingle cats? Well, of course I can do that. Look. Crow, 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 crow! Could you please not do that? Is that a question? Sorry, I don't speak Tunga. You don't speak English either. The old baboon said. I aged better than you. No, you just aged. Daku asks. If this statement is false, is it true or false? If this answer is dumb, is it smart or dumb? Next question. And I married in train elephant says, Dear Kaup and Gustave. Oh, such a cute new nickname for you. Gustave, it's so adorable. It's like your parents weren't decided that they should be half Italian or half Spanish. But my parents are both and German. I'm sure they loved you very much, Gustave. Excellent name. Well, my marine train elephant. Dear Kauf and Gustave, I got a question for you too. If you punch yourself in the face and it really hurts, does that make you strong or weak? Well, go on, Gustave. Demonstrate for us. Oh, oh. Oh, you need my great genius to answer this very well. Oh, I'll answer it. Um, fan is not so much about the strength of muscle, but the strength of mind. So if you punch yourself in the mind, you end up like cow. Did you indirectly call me stupid? Or instead of punching yourself in the face, you can simply enjoy some punch. The drink. Go drink. Gustav, don't tell the children to go drink. What? Should they die of dehydration? Actually, Fad, what you can do with a punch is make a punchline. Observe. Gustav? Eh? Do you know why it takes two molecules of hydrogen to form water? No, why? You're stupid! Next question! Hmm. If Projects asks, Dear Gustav, if Kauf died in your alternate universe, why didn't you bring him back as a CGI double like they did in Rogue One? Kauf doesn't die in my universe, he's just sad. He's a sad clown. I even use CGI to make him even sadder. I didn't have to work much on it. Most you see is just natural. Oh, but a coincidence! I also use CGI to make Gustav look useful and competent. Look. Hey, wait a minute! Thank you, dear fans, for writing your questions and sharing the answers with your fans. Write your questions in the comment section below. Bun sein fast in specken, und stecken, stacken, strocken, und werden wir lachen, und werden wir lachen! Life is good!